Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on example problem on PDNF using truth table method. In the previous video, we are already solved three example problems on PDNF. Please refer that problems to understand how we are solving the given problem by using uh, PDNF with or without using truth table. Okay. Now, obtain the PDNF of P and Q or negation P and R or Q and R using truth table method. Okay. So, here we are using truth table method. By using the truth table method, we have to find out the equivalent PDNF for the given formula. Okay. So, the given formula is this one. Okay. First of all, we have to observe how many number of uh, variables are there in the given formula. Okay. So, here there are three variables are there. First one is P, second one is Q and the third one is R. P, Q, R are the three variables in the given statement formula. So, therefore, number of variables N is equal to 3. Okay. Next one, number of rows in the truth table is equal to how many number of rows in the truth table? The formula is 2 power N where N is nothing but number of variables in the given formula. So, that is uh, N is equal to 3, 2 power 3 that is equal to 8 rows are there in the truth table. Okay. So, first three variables we have to write that is uh, first column contains the variable P, second column contains the variable Q, third column contains the variable R. Okay. What are the eight possible rows are there? Okay. So, first of all, we have to write four trues, four falses. This is the simple way we have to write eight possible truth values. After that, we have to write two trues and two false. Next, again, two trues false. Okay. Next, third column, alternative true and false. Alternate true and false. So, this is the simplest way we have to write the eight possible outcomes of three variables. Okay. Eight possible ways of uh, three variables that is a P, Q, R. Okay. Next one. What are the subcomponents are there in the given formula? Okay. The subcomponents are one is a negation P. We have to write. Okay. Once we are finding out the negation P, negation P is multiplied with the R by using anti-connective. So this is one subcomponent. Another subcomponent is P and Q. Okay. Another subcomponent is Q and R. Okay. After that, first we have to combine these two components. That is P and Q, R, negation P and R. Okay. After that, we have to combine this one. So, that is uh, P and Q, R, negation P and R, R, Q and R. This is the entire formula. Okay. Next, we are writing the main term. Because PDNF is the, PDNF can be defined as disjunctions of midterms. So, next one. Okay. Now, we have to write the truth values of negation P. P truth value is true. Negation P truth value is false. P truth value is true. Negation P truth value is false. Here true. This is false. 
here true this is false here false this is true here false this is true here false this is true and here false this is a true okay next one negation p and r we are uh, combining these two column negation p column and r column in between them we are using and connective so false and true that is nothing but false false and false that is nothing but false false and true that is nothing but false false and false that is nothing but false true and true that is true false and true false true and true that is true false and true that is false okay next one p and q here p column is there here q column is there p and q in between them so and connective is there true and true that is true true and true that is true true and false false true and false 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 and true false false and true false false and false 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 and false false okay next one q and r q here q column is there here r column is there in between them we are using and connective true and true that is true true and false that is false false and true that is false next one false and false that is nothing but false true and true that is nothing but true true and false is nothing but false false and true that is nothing but false false and false that is nothing but false okay next one uh, p and q negation p and r in between them we are using r connective false or true is nothing but true false or true is nothing but true false or false that is false false or false that is false next true or false that is true false or false that is false true or false that is a true false or false that is a false okay next one next one observe what are the columns we have to combine so that is uh, this column and this column we have to combine them okay finally we get the uh, above formula okay so true or true that is a true false or true that is true false or false that is false false or false that is false true or true that is true false or false that is false false or true that is true false or false that is a false okay next we have to write the mean term for only considering truth values in the final column okay here the first row contains true value the second row contains true value and fifth row contains true value and the seventh row contains a true value okay for this four true values we have to write the main terms okay for the first true value what are the possible truth values of the three statement variables true 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 p value is true directly i am writing p q value is true directly i am writing q r value is true directly i am writing r okay in between them we are using and connective okay next next second row contains true value the corresponding truth values of the three statement variables are p value is true i am writing p q value is uh, q truth value is true i am writing q r truth value is a uh, false I am writing negation R. In between them, we are writing and connective. Okay. Next, fifth row. Fifth row contains only true value. 
So the possible truth values of P, Q, R are P value is false. I am writing negation P. Next, Q value is true. I am writing Q. Next, R value is true. I am writing R. In between them, we am writing and connective. Next, seventh row contains true value. The corresponding truth values of P, Q, R, R. P value is false. That is a negation P. Q value is false. I am writing negation Q. R value is true. I am writing R. So in between them, we are writing and connecting. Okay. So four true values are there. The corresponding true values, I am writing the corresponding min terms. Once we are writing the min terms, these min terms are connected by using R connective. Then we are getting dejunction of min terms. Dejunction of min terms is nothing but PDNF. Okay, so the equivalent PDNF of the above formula is P and Q and R. This is the first min term. Second min term P and Q and negation R. Third min term negation P and Q and R. Next, fourth min term negation P and negation Q and R. These min terms are connected by using R connective. So then this is the equivalent PDNF for the given formula. So this procedure we have to follow for finding out the equivalent PDNF for the given formula. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So, Divya Srinivasarao. Thank you.